so we have a patient who's been who's weaning off uh, who we are trying to wean off the ventilator and uh, he is in multi system organ failure but now he's kind of improving so what i've done is we've regularly as anyone would do have reduced the pressure support i have, have put him on pressure support to do a spontaneous breathing trial now if anybody looks at this ventilator you might you might think okay 762 it's too much of assist that we are giving uh, that's the reason that the tidal volumes are on the higher side you also see the graphs over here uh, do you notice any problems in the graph well i i do notice if you don't notice i do notice the problem in the graph and the problem in the graph over here is the fact that there is a small blip at the end of expiration so pressure support mode please consider the pressure time pressure time scalar what you have over here is a small start of inspiration the red triangle actually says the start of inspiration of the trigger and as we go up we see a small blip coming in over here i'll just freeze that for you and show you so what you see over here as i'm turning the graph is the fact that here you have the pressures to be 18 and as we here it is 18 and as we go up you suddenly see a big blip in the pressure which is going to 21 So 18 to 21, there's a big blip in the pressure coming. You might such, think that this is all looking well and things are are doing well, but unfortunately, one of the systems you can look at over here is the um, is is the P0.1, which is the airway occlusion pressure at 100 milliseconds of uh, occlusion. So when you look over here, you have a P0.1 of minus 26. This minus 26, minus 23. What does it indicate? It indicates that either the patient has a very high respiratory drive. This should be between minus uh, one to three point five, minus one to three point five. What you're seeing is minus twenty three, which indicates that this patient either is under assisted or is having a very high respiratory drive in some way. Okay, now I don't presume this patient has a respiratory high drive because of the fact that I have actually um, uh, ensured that the metabolism is controlled, the calcium is okay, the potassiums are okay, the patient is awake. Now I don't, I don't have a reason to believe that there is something like this. But what do I do in this case? What this ba basically means is this might injure the lung in this way, and that is why I need to get this to normal. How do I do this? Let me try over assisting this patient a little bit. So let me go back uh, and increase the pressure support and see what happens. I'm going to make it 14. I'm going to make it 15. When I see 15, let's concentrate on the trace, the pressure time trace. The pressure time trace seems to slightly reduce the blip now. The blip was very high. If you compare it to this side, it has slightly reduced. There is a slight. If you see, compare both the sides. Look at the blip here, and look at the blip that's changed. Okay, now you see. Look at the blip over here. Okay, it's kind of a little bit more better. Okay, what I do is I it probably needs more support. Let me see. Let me make it 20. It's a very high support, but he's a very big gentleman. So maybe he'll require such high pressure supports also. So let's see what happens. Okay, we'll see. It's kind of tracing. The tracing is getting ironed off, almost ironed off. Mm. Okay, now we just have in the center one small blip, and even that become plain now. Can you see that? Mm. So as we see, it's become plain now. Mm. The entire pressure support blip has gone by. It looks like I'm assisting well, though the tidal volumes are very, very high. I feel these are very high tidal volumes for this patient. But this is the assistance that he's requiring so that we can iron out the trace. But then, what we should also see is the P zero point one coming to normal. Let us go back and see whether the P zero point one is going back to normal to understand whether the assistance is kind of doing the trick over here. I'm going to my, my monitoring tools and looking at P zero point one, which has already come down to minus seven point five, minus six point seven, which is nearing towards the normal values. It was initially minus twenty two, if you're not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. So it's six point two now. So let me see whether this is over assistance. Let me get down this. Okay, I'm going to come down to eighty. I'm coming down to 80. Tidal volumes are at 900. Very high tidal volumes. I think this patient is not ready for a uh, for a spinal breathing trial. However, these high pressure supports giving such high tidal volumes. Big gentleman, he's more than 100 kilos. So I would I would look at it as 600 to be the average uh, that I want to deliver in such cases. And it appears that he's getting around 600 per se. Let me go back and see that waveform looks pretty stable, very really pretty stable. Let me go back to my uh, P0.1. And P0.1 is still maintained at. 7.5 is not to 22 or 21 anymore. Maybe this is not the support he requires. Maybe lesser. Let me go lesser. I'm going to 16 now, and let's see what happens at 16. At 16, I'm still having the trace. Oh, the trace has slightly mm. changed. Okay, the slate has slightly changed. Okay, okay, okay. It remains the same. The assistance has remained. The slight change is there. Okay, there is a slight change that is there. So it does require a 16 of press support. Is what it looks like. At a 16 of press support, there seems to be at least alternate beds that are going okay. Okay, at least alternate beds, but still it looks like he requires some more. So it's, it's awake now. Is away. Now let's go back to P zero point one and see what is happening there. Monitoring, it's gone high. No, so no. It, it's it's not a great form. He requires eighteen. Okay. Since he requires eighteen, we will see the graph actually tracing out, and that's how you probably use the 
uh, airway occlusion pressure uh, it's, it's kind of ironed off now and, and and he requires a very high pressure but I think this patient is not ready for uh, a spontaneous breathing trial and if at all I want to do SBT it has to be at a pressure support of 18 otherwise probably I will enjoy the lung in some way the dry core is very very high so this is how the pressure support uh, I have adjusted based on the P0.1 and the respiratory drive thank you